Hey guys and welcome back. I have not done a video in a while. I have not been feeling well. Not going to bore you with details, but I have a heart condition and it's been kind of acting up lately, so I've been in bed a lot. But I got this in the mail today, so I thought I'd sit here before I go to bed and test this out. This is the this is the carbonated bubble clay mask. Um, what's it from? They call it milk. Milky Piggy, I think. Um, this has been going around YouTube. Anyways, this has been going around YouTube. Lots of people are interested in this. So I thought I would give it a try. I know there are lots of videos on this at the moment, but I thought it'd be something kind of fun and interesting. <laughs> and you can laugh and make fun of me with all this foam on my face. But anyways, so here it is, and it is all in Chinese or something, I don't know. So it comes with this little spatula and there are no instructions in English on this so I looked it up online. But you basically put it on your face and then it foams up and I've seen some videos and it gets pretty big so this ought to be interesting. But then you kind of massage it into your face and then you rinse it and it's supposed to be pretty good. And it's only $11 on Amazon. so. Let me see if I can get this open. Here's, ooh, it's goopy. It looks like, um, silly putty. <laughs> okay. So first I'm gonna need to, and my skin is not the greatest right now, so I kind of need this anyways. Since I have been in bed, I haven't been washing my face as regularly as I am used to. So my skin definitely needs some exfoliation and some cleansing, so. Okay, here we go. Let's get the hair out of the way. Okay, so again, I do not have any makeup on and we are gonna go in with this. Um, I did read online that you can, you can actually use this mask with makeup on um, to remove the makeup and cleanse. So we're going to dig into this with this little spatula and let's see how this goes. I don't know how thick or thin you're supposed to put this on. Um, but we're just gonna kinda go with the flow here. You know, it kind of even smells like silly putty a little bit. It's already starting to foam up over here. So it works pretty quickly. Now, um, things I've heard about this, some people say that it, like, itches really bad so hoping that it's not so far it's not it feels kind of just cool on the skin and keep in mind I do have somewhat sensitive skin so make sure we get the nose and then my forehead is where I'm breaking out the most right now so make sure we get that really well oops oh I'm just like making a mess now. The bubbles do kind of tickle a little bit as it's foaming up. It is a little bit tickly. Maybe that's what people are saying itches. Um, but it's not overwhelming yet. It might get that way, but at the moment it's not terrible. <laughs> it does look pretty funny though. Let's see here. All right, so pretty much have the face covered. I don't ever put any masks on my upper lip um, just because that, I can hear it like crackling. <laughs> that part of my skin is really, really sensitive and um, I tend to have problems with masks there. So, all right. So I'm just gonna sit here and let this do its thing starting to look really puffy. It makes your face look bigger and wider. Very attractive. I was really expecting it to itch a lot because people who have I've seen do this, they're just like, act like they're in pain and it like itches like crazy. But it just um, feels like you put bubble bath bubbles on your face. It doesn't really itch. It just kind of tickles a little bit. It's not bad. Okay, so what you're supposed to do next is, 
Look at that. That's hilarious. So you're supposed to rub this into your skin and then rub with water. But let's see. That's so weird. It sounds so weird too. So I'm going to go in there and rinse this off. Going to um, massage it into my skin for a couple minutes um, and then rinse it off and come back and let you know if I feel like my skin is cleaner or softer. Or... So yeah. All right. I will be back. All right. So I am back. My face is clean. So as I went in there to wash it off the foam it got even bigger like it gets crazy big it's hilarious but then you pat it all in and you rub and it actually puts a pretty thick layer on your skin it takes quite a bit of rubbing to get it all off but it does feel very good and my skin feels squeaky clean now and my pores even look a little bit smaller I don't know what exactly this claims to do because it is in another language <laughs> but it did clean my skin very well and I will definitely use this again. It is a fun and goofy kind of a little bit gimmicky mask. I don't know that it foaming up has anything to do with the actual results that you get. It could, but I don't know. But it is a decent mask. I will definitely use this again. Um, it's entertaining as well. Um, my skin feels clean, but it definitely is dry now. I definitely feel like I need to go ahead and get on my moisture soon it feels a little tight um, but it is a clay mask so it is supposed to kind of dry out a little bit anyways so this was a fun mask to do I enjoyed it it is not the best mask I've ever used um, but it definitely gets the job done so I hope that you enjoyed this forgive me if I'm not super bubbly and happy right now I am in a lot of pain but I wanted to go ahead and get this up there I also have a new eyeshadow palette soon probably tomorrow that I will video hopefully um, and I actually have another mask coming as well and it is a new beauty control mask that is a peel off mask so that one will be entertaining too um, anyways that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you like this please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and I'll see you guys next time stay gorgeous bye <laughs> Isn't it funny? It's like crackling and foaming. It looks like you're wearing a mask. I am wearing a mask. You know, like a Halloween mask. You saying I look scary? Oh yeah. You don't want to touch it? No. <laughs>